Steve, what are you doing? I'm thinking about the ideal office. This software makes it so easy. Just a few clicks here and there. I can move walls. I can move furniture. I can see exactly what it's going to look like when I'm done. Nice. Yes, I know my patients are going to love it. They're going to be so comfortable. I bet you would love it too. I'll feel comfortable too. Why? Take a closer look here on the desk. Of course. <laughs> of course, I knew that, you know. It's my constant motivator. Boom! All right, smart guy. All right, but you know, some patients think plastic surgery works like that design software. It's just not that easy. No, it's not. So let's talk about how to get the look you want from the aesthetic treatment. I'm Dr. Stephen Diane. And I'm Dr. Paul Massif. The first step is to pick the doctor who is right for you. What does that mean? Yes, you want someone who is board certified and very experienced in doing the procedure you're interested in. Make sure the physician has hospital privileges to perform the treatment you desire and can answer any questions you may have about possible complications. That's a lot of information, but you need to know even more? Yes, you do. Have the doctor show you before and after photos of treatments similar to the one you want and ask if you can talk to some of the physician's patients. But don't stop there. In another episode of Beneath the Surface, we've talked about how important it is to build a partnership with a physician who treats the whole person, your mental and physical well-being. Take your time in picking your doctor. Think of this as one of the most important relationships you will ever have because this person is going to alter the way you look. Do your homework. Read the reviews. Educate yourself on the procedure you're considering. And be sure you are comfortable with the doctor and office staff. You will be seeing them a lot. Next, set your expectations. If you've been following this series, you're going to know the answer to this question. Is there such a thing as a perfect body? The answer, of course, is no. Everyone's body is flawed in some way, which is actually part of what makes you human and appealing. So in setting your expectations, don't think plastic surgery will give me a perfect body, because it won't, but it can help you to achieve your aesthetic goals. How do you set reasonable goals? By working with your plastic surgeon. Make sure you both agree on exactly what you want to achieve. Be sure to assess the risk of the procedure. Every procedure has them. Then weigh those risks against the potential benefits of the procedure for you. Now let's say you've chosen a doctor you like and trust. You've described the look you want, and you're willing to take the possible risks. What should you do if your provider says you should not have a procedure? Easy. Don't have the procedure. Your doctor wants you to be happy, but they know you won't be happy if the look you want is simply too extreme. It's hard to tell a patient no, but sometimes that's the most important guidance we can give because changing someone's body is a lot more difficult than changing the layout of an office. By the way, I really like the layout of your office. It's just missing one little thing. I think I know what's coming. <laughs> You got it. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Join us on the next edition of Beneath the Surface as we take a closer look at when one more aesthetic procedure may be one too many. Now, I know exactly where you should put that. That's a coincidence. So do I. Really? Huh.